He's not, and I think the angle in which uh, Timothy Dalton handled it was marvellous because he brought a lot of strength to Bond because of that. You know, it became a bit, I think, I'm not criticising at all Roger Moore because I think Roger Moore was quite wonderful on screen, but he was more of a personality. And it became like, not his fault, but perhaps a script, very yeah. gimmicky everything. Yeah. And uh, you just lost Ian Fleming completely. And I think that's what everybody wanted to work at getting back to on this film. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I was in two minds about it at the start of, um, of doing it, and uh, the way we did it mm -hmm. is very different from what one expects it's going to be. And um, I was quite surprised working with Playboy in America. They're real professionals. And uh, the way we did it is um, very different mm -hmm. from what one's expecting, and it's tasteful. And, and I did it because of the, the tie that mm -hmm. they've had, the Bond mm -hmm. people, with, with Playboy. I think I've seen, I think there are, there are two James Bond movies I haven't seen, uh, but I've seen, oh, oh yes, definitely, when I knew I got the part, I saw um, Goldfinger, I, I sort of catched up on a few that I hadn't seen, and um, it didn't help me at all for the part, because obviously, you know, I'm not playing James Bond, so I don't have to, yeah. um, but um, it was wonderful watching them, you know, and uh, finding out about Ian Fleming also, um, and I've been very lucky, because uh, at Easter, I went to Scotland with a lot of Scottish friends of mine, and I met one of the real characters that might have been James Bond, who was oh, one really? of Ian Fleming's closest friends, called Sir Fitzroy MacLean, who's quite a famous writer here in this country, and who was probably one of the greatest war heroes in this country, and he influenced a lot. He was Tito's greatest friend. I mean, he was quite a big influence in many ways. And uh, he's 80 years old, and he has got a lot of, the, of what I imagine in James Bond. Mm -hmm. I think there are a few people who he was probably befriended with who he thought of as he was writing uh, his books, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see a bit of uh, this. I mean, there, there's also one saying that Noel Coward, who was a great friend of his, he saw a certain mind of Noel Coward, which could have been, you know, James Bond and what else. Um, and I, I think that he sort of put a few of his friends, because they were all, you know, involved in sort of the spy world agents and mm -hmm. so on. Uh, in, within the James Bond character. Well, I think it's, it's really, because you say usually, we always come back to a script. This is a different script. And then he decided to write a different part. And, and she existed in Ian Fleming's short stories. Oh, character. She did. Yes, she did. And that's the whole point. And I think they sort of brought back a lot of uh, Ian Fleming's um, bits and you know, episodes within mm. the script mm. and put it all together. And uh, I think it's very nice because there was, you know, more of a real character I had to play. And mm. um, that the reason why they chose me is uh, probably because of the girl, the way she is, her general honesty, mm. her vulnerability, her, all these sort of streaks in her character, which um, I might have. <laughs> <laughs>